Malam mula dalam otak saya Saya tak jangkakan dia orang akan set up terus tau dekat road And then bila kita sampai tu Dah road closure dah I think hari Kamis dia orang dah set up So probably 4 days Technically 4 hari tu dia orang dah tutup I think about 2km jalan They want to be betul-betul prepare Organizer dah set up cantik untuk kita daripada segi transportation dari airport ke hotel semua. Sini weather agak panas, agak humid lah. Kalau nak lari dekat sini memang kena awal pagi. Be floor 6 should be good. Sebab pukul 6.30 ke atas dah start panas dan memang humid lah sini sebab tepi pantai. Teruja sebab tak pernah cuba road race kat luar. Ni pengalaman pertama. So, dia cuba untuk training yang fokus untuk habiskan race. Cuba buat yang terbaik, ambil pengalaman macam mana suasana dekat luar pada Malaysia. Diorang buat race. Bila lain kali kita dah dapat tahu kita boleh target timing yang lebih baik. Baiklah. First time saya punya overseas race ni, perasaan yang bercampur bau. <laughs> ada excited, ada nervous. Excited sebab first time main dekat negara orang. Nervous sebab kita ada target sendiri. Macam saya sendiri, to be honest, saya target untuk buat PB which is the target sub 35. So, saya target 3.4.50 second macam tu. Mantap. Agus. Aku boleh dia ikut dia punya shake out lah saja. Kalau race tak boleh. Race aku kapur dah. <laughs> dia orang sangat santai kan. Tapi saya sudah pasang pun ni. Laju lah. Dia orang laju. Tapi bagi dia orang tak laju pun. Uh, kalau race tak, hopefully can execute the plan je. On race day, akan ada something yang either it should be good or not. Maybe faktor pemakanan pun ya. Sebab breakfast, ambil roti yang tak pernah makan. And dinner before race pula, makan makanan yang tak biasa kita makan. Tak macam kat Malaysia, senang nak cari kan. Weather kat sini pun agak humid. Susah sikit lah nak achieve target tu. Dari segi makanan pun, senang untuk kita cari makanan yang halal berdekatan dengan tapak event lah. Penginapan pun dekat dengan tapak event. Keluar je daripada hotel, terus tapak event. So the risky collection was held at convention center just right beside of our rooms and this is also our starting point as well and the procedure was smooth and the best technology I have ever seen so far was the face ID basically you will just bring your passport or your identity card plug in like a credit card machine scan your face print out a receipt straight away and you take that receipt with QR code proceed to the risky collection counter so the whole procedure will just take me about 5 to 10 minutes per percent. No queue at all. Even for the locals, no queue at all. It was smooth, no congestion, no fighting. <laughs> Meat collection dekat sini, something yang baru lah untuk saya sebab dia punya sistem, diorang guna face recognition. Benda tu sangat-sangat smooth and mudah. Tak perlu beratur panjang. Just bagi passport and then diorang detect bagi kita punya muka. Lepas tu, keluar sleep, masuk, collect beep, settle. Ini best. Saya rasa bila saya masuk dekat bahagian expo tu, I'm happy to see local brand set up a booth dekat expo tu. Saya rasa five rasanya lebih kot local brand dekat expo tu kan. And the expo itself was a warehouse sales. Everybody was like, oh, enjoying shopping. I can take this 50% off, that 20% off. And also the local design t-shirt. Each of us got very nice Fujitsu Sun singlet back home as a souvenir.
in terms of event day, road closure, semua nampak smooth. Walaupun dekat tempat ni agak busy sebab banyak peniaga yang meniaga kat tepi-tepi jalan ni. Tapi benda tu tak ada isu sebab organizer jemput yang peniaga-peniaga ni masuk meniaga dekat event ni sekali. So the race day, they start pukul 5.45 waktu Thailand which means dalam pukul 6.45 waktu Malaysia lah agak standard lah for 10k race cara diorang bagikan pen depan sekali definitely elite and then yang kedua semi elite and also ada Thai fast runner and then barulah start dengan pen A1, A2, A3 sampai lah A5 and then belakang tu 5k Masa pelepasan tu, saya terpaksa menyelit ke kiri ke kanan sebab ramai Sebab event ni, this ya elite label So ramai elite-elite dari luar join Diorang cuba juga untuk memperbaharui rekod masing-masing Termasuklah saya Atas kertas kita tengok road ni macam flat course Tapi rupanya hilly Tapi kita cuba buat yang terbaik Yang meriahnya event ni, dia punya aliran trafik diorang yang teratur Water station yang baik Walaupun ramai orang, tapi water station diorang tu macam smooth je Kita tak payah nak kalut-kalut untuk berebut nak ambil air ke apa, tak payah It's quite scenic kat sini. Saya sangat-sangat suka bila ada event ataupun program yang ketengahkan something yang unik about this place. I learn something that kenapa dia orang punya pemenang dapat monkey sebab there's one place ada monkey hill which is bila kita datang tu we were greeted by the monkeys lah sebenarnya. During the race, it was first is traffic two days or three days in advance. The road already closed, so it was well organized, no vehicles at all. There's no trespassing. And second, it was cleanliness. So every water station stationed with a lot of dustbins and also workers. One thing I noticed maybe it was the running etiquettes from the locals. There were no energy gel packet along the warm up starting warm up place or starting line or along the route. There are none. So some think that we should practice it in Malaysia. Yang paling penting, Kak Ju suka sebab dia punya fotografer di setiap 2 km tu akan ada fotografer. Wow, meriahnya bila kita lari tengok, wah, wow, fotografer banyak. So kita pun rasa macam excited nak lari. Dia punya sistem face recognition ni kita boleh akses semua kali dengan after race punya gambar. So dekat situ dia detect semua benda dekat satu sistem. So benda ni sangat-sangat bagus lah daripada pihak organizer. Dekat Thailand ni setahun saja dia orang ada dalam 2000 event. Bangsa ni antara yang top dekat sini. Sebab event ni tepi pantai. Kalau korang nak run cation, boleh bawa family tempat ah, event memang sangat-sangat sesuai lah. Lagi satu dekat sini World Athletic Certified punya course. Korang kena cuba experience event yang besar macam ni. They have their own official videographer, photographer. For every 300-500 meters, akan ada camera. Kiri, kanan, tengah ada, semua ada. Even some come up with a lighting. Satu gambar 80 Thailand baht, but if we click all, they lump sum to 990 baht, about 100 plus ringgit saja. My picture, I ada 300 gambar. 300 hanya untuk 90 ringgit, 100 ringgit saja. So I think quite reasonable. Lepas I cross finish line, email notification masuk. Congratulations, Kalish. This is your time. Masuk ikut email. Dia tak stress after I cross finish line. This is something yang macam wow. Surprising ceremony. That was the best. You would never expect it. Once you cross the finish line, your results are already up. You would never expect it. Your name are already printed out in documents waiting for you to sign. That like in, in just an hour, the prize ceremony was just right after you cross the line. It was so efficient, no queue at all. World Athletic Label events. Also, at the same time, we had tons of fun at this event. So it's like professional at the same time, and also you had fun at the same time. By balancing of the both, I think it's one of the best running events events from Thailand Bang Sian here. If you rasa to experience something yang macam lain daripada yang lain, elite level event, come to Bang Sian 10, probably mungkin before this orang cakap, okay, we go to world major to experience that, kan? Tetapi tak. Even diri saya pun saya rasa silap. Bila datang ke Bang Sian dah habis dah race pun, saya rasa macam, yeah, it's, it's a nice experience and it's not very costly to us. Malaysia nak datang ke sini. Two hours flight from KL and one hour journey from Bangkok. You can plan with your friends. Runcation nowadays pun dah trend, kan? So why not come into some place yang belum orang explore. So, datanglah. Have a try. Thank you.